Chapter 5. Guides for Treatment by Super Mineral Water Eliciting Potential Power with Super Mineral Water I have introduced super mineral water to many patients with many different illnesses. I made a decision to use this super mineral water internally and externally on behalf of patients with all sorts of different medical challenges because I was aware of the reality that we just couldn't cure people with today's medicine. It is certain that we cannot cure modern-day illnesses. However, by using super mineral water, I have witnessed people getting really cured. What these minerals can do will become this century's largest scientific accomplishment. The way super mineral water works medically is completely different from the way the usual drugs work. It is in the way the minerals can change the state of illness by normalizing the metabolism where we feel the medicinal result. It is a new medical product that increases the body's own curing ability. Strongly put, I am convinced that this becomes the new standard in the area of gene normalization. People utilize such genes functions as immune system or utilize its information restoring capability. Super mineral water used as gene normalization can work to normalize the gene's activities, like correct information delivery systems or correct management of what they are supposed to be doing. Or by simply correcting our mineral deficiency by drinking super mineral water, in the end, people can expect an easy cure from chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and atopy dermatitis. Sure, it takes time and depends on what illness, etc., but without a doubt, diseases will be cured. Additionally, with super mineral water used in a concentrated form and in a larger quantity, we will be able to solve such difficult diseases as severe infectious diseases, cerebral contusion, contusion and chronic organ failure. In other words, we ask our patients to explore their potential called focused power, such as that incredible power we display when we are confronted with a house on fire and can cure them all at once. Following are some representative illnesses we may face, and my comment on each. In cases of chronic diseases, malignant tumors in general, when a patient begins to drink super mineral water, the first thing to occur is that the development of the tumor is halted and metastasis is prevented. This is a very big step in the treatment of cancer. This allows the patient a respite period of three to four months. In terms of the amount that a patient takes, it comes to five times the daily amount required by a healthy person. Although further testing on animals is needed and looking at the clinical results, there is no doubt that any new metastasis will be prevented. In other words, this means that we give patients a three to four month extension, and by so doing, it becomes possible to apply a series of different treatments without the worry that the disease is too far advanced. Doctors and patients can use this extra time to consider the results of alternative treatments. If the size of the lump decreases during this period, it may be possible to avoid surgery. Even in cases where surgery is unavoidable, the degree of the extirpation can be kept to a minimum. In contrast to this, if 0.1% of the cancer still remains following surgical removal of a tumor, then the operation is considered meaningless. The threat of metastasis results in surgeons hesitating to perform an operation. It is this reasoning that kills cancer patients. Treatment with super mineral water is extremely effective in partial extirpation, which is widely thought of as a waste. Operations to remove small parts of a tumor, which are then repeated, don't drain the patient's strength and make it possible for a full recovery to take place, quite safely. The reason why I am in search of surgeons who can cooperate with me and allow their patients to take the super mineral water is because he or she can sure use more time in which to find a way to help their patients. Number one, cancer of the stomach, cancer of the large intestine. Early stage cancer can be cured by drinking super mineral water alone, but to be certain, I have also confirmed by endoscope examination that surgery is not needed. Two months of drinking super mineral water allows this conclusion to be reached. Of course, during this time, health is restored and no trouble is experienced. Operations in which the stomach is removed result in the patient's inability to eat and shorten his lifespan by three years. Just because one is diagnosed as having a cancerous stomach should not lead to an unconditional surrender to surgery. Just drink super mineral water and you can easily take care of the matter at hand. Today's reality is that patients usually don't even have time to register a complaint 
as the hospital side decides the day of the operation based on their convenience and then go ahead and remove the stomach. The patients have no option. This medical state will probably go on for a while, despite the fact that this sort of surgery was not totally necessary. I feel regrettable for this. I'm sure before long surgeons will be taken to court because it is a crime to take out organs that were meant to help sustain our long life. When the size of a tumor grows larger than three centimeters, about an inch, a large part of it falls off and becomes ulcer. The blood vessels that supported the cancer begin to bleed. You will have to do something about this bleeding. The best way is to clip them by using endoscopes to stop the bleeding. Most doctors refuse to do that because they consider it a waste of time, because this is cancer. In a case like this, I ask my patients to choose between surgery and medicine that stops bleeding. Doctors in internal medicine basically do nothing and leave the helpless patients alone. By the time an internal treatment is required, they say it is already too late, hence increasing a chance to be killed legally with anti-cancer drugs. The only thing remaining then is a funeral. For the most part, Patients are made to suffer in pain with anti-cancer drugs, while at the same time their lives and money are taken away from them. Compare this to surgeons. Their business is surgery. So they perform surgery if a patient asks them while thinking why the patient had waited this long for surgery. Why would such surgeons even consider the treatment with supermineral water? Patients would be denied a surgery and chased away from the hospital. There is only one option left for the patients, and unfortunately it is surgery. Some who drink super mineral water often end up going through surgery. There are cases in which patients did not have the diagnosis done after drinking super mineral water and went through surgery, despite the fact that cancer was no longer detected. There were many cases in which cancer surgery was performed, although there was no cancer inside. The reason why there are not cases like that among my patients is because I insist that early-stage cancer patients have a thorough testing done after they commence drinking super mineral water. I nag them in order to avoid this sort of accident. The truth is that the majority of this nation's population is not even aware of the existence of super mineral water, so they dutifully obey the order from their doctor, believing that today's medicine works. At this stage, many of them end up going through this surgery. Today's medical treatment of their cancer irritates some patients. Many get to know and are saved by super mineral water. It is not fair that only those people who got to know super mineral water get lucky. This is indeed a matter of life and death. I too recommend surgery if cancer is at the late stage, but only for removing the stomach, not in the case of metastasis in lymphatic lines, liver, lungs, and bones. If a patient's appetite is intact and there is no fever, chances are they are heading for a complete recovery. If the metastasized cancer measures over four centimeters, a little over an inch, I may sometimes recommend the surgery. I do support the radioactive treatment. There is a treatment in which alcohol is inserted into the cancerous area in the treatment of liver cancer. I feel this is quite effective alongside my special water treatment. Ethanol used for this purpose kills all cells unconditionally. This is effective since there is no need to take out the entire cancer. With regards to other cancers, my thought remains the same. The after-effect of today's cancer treatment lingers on for quite some time. I believe it enough with this long-needle treatment approach of inserting ethanol. 2. Lung Cancer Unlike cancer of the digestive organs, lung cancer does not induce bleeding while being treated. It is an easy cancer to cure with super mineral water. For three months, one may observe shadows on the X-ray photos of one's chest. Soon after, some dramatic change occurs. These shadows begin to fade. Hearing that this dramatic change was the result of drinking super mineral water, doctors may say, no, it was a miracle. But then they begin to search for other reasons to explain this unexpected recovery. There is something that happens rather frequently when one is drinking super mineral water. The water actually helps x-ray photos to point out shadows in the lungs. But often, doctors pursue other new metastasis somewhere else. Despite that, you don't have to worry about other metastasis. It means it has become clearer to see the cancer than had been there before. Generally, in all types of cancer, I recommend radioactive treatment because it helps shrink the tumor fast. 3. Cancer of the uterus, myeloma of the uterus, and prostate. We often observe these cancerous cells being expelled while treating with super mineral water. 
Upon examining, we often learn that cancerous cells did not exist. 4. Liver Cancer The liver cancer traces its origin to carcinogenic sputum of B-type and C-type viruses. We are not at a point of curing liver cancer with super mineral water yet. Where we are today is to the extent of stopping new cancer cells from their birth, while also denting the advancement of inflammation of sputum and hepatic cirrhosis. That is where we stand. We don't need to labor ourselves too much as far as treating lung cancer that metastasizes, but the viral liver cancer needs to be treated along with an anti-cancerous drug such as interferon. There is no need to worry about the side effects of whether one suffers from cancer of the liver or cancer of hepatic cirrhosis. We just need to determine the range of interferon we administer. Circulatory diseases. 1. High blood pressure. Drink the amount determined for a healthy person of supermineral water for three months. Patients who had to rely on pills designed to lower their high blood pressure will find these pills to be unnecessary. We can treat most other illnesses with this approach. 2. Arterial sclerosis. Drink supermineral water for six months. You see the improvement at which you won't have to worry about this disease. You will be able to conduct your daily life with more confidence. The worry you may have over cerebral infarction and myocardial infarction becomes unnecessary. While you are drinking super mineral water, you may observe a new birth of arterial sclerosis, but by increasing the intake amount of super mineral water, which has the rehabilitator's power, you will observe the disappearance of this paralysis soon enough. 3. Diabetes you will be better able to control by combining both insulin and drugs designed to control the blood sugar count. Lately, my own patients who just acquired diabetes began treating their diabetes by drinking super mineral water and in the second week noticed a drop in their blood sugar count. For those who had suffered for over five years, many of them have seen the same drop in their blood sugar count within three or four months. Diabetes that had resisted to drugs suddenly began showing good reaction. Soon, these people will be able to reduce the amount of insulin. It is only a matter of time before we will not need any sort of diabetic treatment. At the same time, bleeding from the back of one's eyeballs and arterial sclerosis will stop their advancement. It is not that one does not need to utilize the use of a dialysis, which is required for those who have a severe case of nephropathy, but that for those who use dialysis already, they will begin to feel the recovery from drinking super mineral water while noticing an increase in the discharge of urine. The frequency of having to use a dialysis will be reduced. Within a year or two, the pain and numbness in one's hands and feet will disappear. In case of fast-advancing illnesses, I recommend antibiotics along with other drugs your doctors prescribe. In case of sepsis, heavy phlegm, and pneumonia, patients have been able to place a healthy distance from the probability of a near death. Burns. Even with burns, greater results that the present medical treatment cannot even think about have been achieved. By applying super mineral water directly over the burn, most burns were able to recover. Only those who have tried it can understand that it really works. There is a necessity to rethink the totality of medical practice that utilizes drugs. I am convinced that super mineral water's ability to normalize genes the antiseptic power of acid sulfate where minerals are kept ionized, and minerals' agglutination power must have a direct bearing with what doctors are trying to do with current drugs. Postscript. This book is the third one I wrote with regards to super mineral water. The first one was Any Cancer Can Be Definitely Cured with Super Mineral Water, 2001 publication. It was some scary title, I admit. In it, I mentioned that there was a great probability that drinking this water and utilizing the surgery on the basis of only if necessary can cure any type of cancer. The second book was Cancer, Diabetes, and Atopy are Mineral Deficiency Illnesses, 2002 publication. The title basically challenged the medical community. I emphasized the importance of curing various modern-day diseases with super mineral water. Both books were used as a way to advance the use of this special water. Since the publication of the first book, the traffic around my clinic got suddenly busy. There were doctors who abhorred learning that their patients made a complete recovery from their diseases. There were health food companies that worried about the sales of their health products in the presence of super mineral water. There were also conservative officials that could only see stories from their side only. They all began the task of bullying. Those days, I was a local public health practitioner working for a public clinic in Chiba Prefecture. 
In order not to tread on rules and regulations in medical practice, I did a volunteer work, dispensing super mineral water, and worked to spread this water. However, to spread this water also required financing. No one volunteered to work for nothing. At this moment, the membership increased to 50,000. None of these members' families should have to experience the recurrence of cancer. I felt a void in my heart as I witnessed so many people dying before my eyes, and I so badly wanted to save as many Japanese people as possible. I felt like a cat that couldn't discern the color of mice. Black or white does not matter to the cat. I put an end to a very lucrative medical practice of a public servant then. By the time I published the second book, the number of memberships in Friends Association that was created to spread super mineral water increased to about 20,000 throughout Japan. Since I became a civilian, I was now able to move more freely, as long as I didn't violate the rules and regulations of medical practice. The present law does not permit the combined treatment of insured treatment and non-insured treatment. Super mineral water is not recognized as a drug. Since this mixed bag of treatment does not receive the insurance coverage, I must be able to reduce the cost of non-insured treatment drastically to lighten the medical costs of my patients. Within a few years, I believe that these rules and regulations will be relaxed. But right now, all I can do is crane my neck to see its arrival so that I can openly practice medicine with super mineral water. At this moment, the number of memberships increased to 50,000. None of these members' families should have to practice the recurrence of cancer. Many voices are heard in the meantime. Since I began drinking super mineral water, I haven't caught a cold that put me to bed. My children don't get sick anymore. They are all healthy. Medical costs have dramatically been reduced. There was a huge decrease in funerals among these memberships. Among advanced countries, there is very little danger of infectious diseases because the infrastructure with regards to tap water delivery and raw sewage discharge has been improved. There is always an outburst of new types of infectious diseases, but science will no doubt take care of them. It is not a difficult task to cure people who may contract this new disease called SARS, an infectious disease which was newly discovered in China of late. It scared the daylight out of the world's citizens. In the case of SARS, people eventually contract pneumonia. Just drink super mineral water. Just like people who suffer from AIDS, SARS patients can easily recover their health by drinking this water. Within 10 days of drinking this water, the body creates antibodies, averting death. I began pushing this approach to some officials in Taiwan as prevention from contracting this infectious SARS. A public announcement was made there. Doctors there will soon begin using this water. Regrettably, scientists' attention has not been placed on trace mineral elements. However, I do feel that this is a matter of time. Analysis of genes have not gone anywhere yet. The science is far behind in grasping the significance of these trace mineral elements. However, we are bound to create actual success data when we use super mineral water to fight modern-day diseases. Some nutritionists are bound to discover the absence of these trace mineral elements in produce that were raised inorganically. I am firmly convinced that the media will eventually pick up this topic under pressure from the public opinions, no matter how much science tries to ignore the work of super mineral water. The media has to protect the interest of its people. They have to take a stand on behalf of its people. At the moment, however, the media shows no more interest than scientists. However, local newspapers are beginning to report favorably about the works of this water recently. At every opportunity I have, I make it a point to tell mass media, large radio stations and large newspaper companies, and famous journalists that deficiency of minerals is the cause of modern-day illnesses. I've sent private letters to some of them, too. I've received only one letter from a journalist who specialized in agricultural matters. In order to avoid a statement like, I was not informed of this at all, I continue to send information to those people. From a certain connection I had on April 7th of 2002, I was employed as the head of a certain hospital in Chiba Prefecture. I was happy and overjoyed at this appointment, as that would mean that I could continue this medical treatment with super mineral water, and because there was a huge probability that I could train some doctors with this mineral water approach. The reality was not good. It was a powerless position. I was just an adornment to the establishment. All the physicians in internal medicine and surgeons banded together in boycotting the cares of those patients who were treated with super mineral water. The truth was that they did not wish to lose their medical practice license by using something that was not approved as a drug. I could not help thinking 
that they had forgotten the basic duty of a physician, which is that first and foremost their duty was to help cure patients of diseases. In the medical law, it is stated that doctors have to perform a duty in which they use all available means to help patients. In order to help patients, doctors are allowed to use things that are not approved as a drug. Doctors naturally practice this approach after explaining what they are about to administer fully to the patient. Illegal in this case means that doctors cannot charge non-approved drugs against insurance claims. If it is the case of treating with non-approved substances, as far as treating patients, it is definitely not illegal. We have a national insurance program, and somewhat our medical community has lost its focus by advancing the medical system, in which the cost has grown by the encouragement of larger amounts of various drugs. Physicians' brains are still hard to crack. They just don't have the ears to listen with, to understand lectures with. Even nurses begin taking physicians' sides. My desire is to continue to follow through with these cancer patients found nationwide. Despite the fact that their health is improving, they and their families still hear things like, you only have a few months left. Soon you will experience pains. There is no hope, so why do anything? It's meaningless. This leads to a situation where despite the fact that patients are getting better, they cock their neck wondering, funny, or you don't have to come here anymore. No matter how far away patients are from me, I still want them examined and have their progress reported to me because I wish to use their results for treating other patients. This sort of daily observation did not exist in the hospital that invited me as their head. I lasted there for only four months. Then I tendered my resignation. There was no point to stay there any longer. This is the state of today's medical community. The hospital was full of young dinosaurs, and that cannot be helped, perhaps. A very bright future is waiting for you, dear readers. It is a natural wish to live to be a hundred. That should be your right. I pray you create a master plan on your life based on this supposition.